So, quick update guys, uh, Mike is not looking too good right now. Uh, we've been sitting here for maybe the past two hours. And it's 100 plus degrees out here and uh, he hasn't made any money at all. So, it's not looking good right now. I'm Mike Black and I'm giving up everything during a global pandemic. The world economy has been crippled by COVID. But with the right mindset, we can get through this. I believe right now is one of the best times to reinvent yourself. And so I'm putting everything on the line to prove it. I drained my bank account to zero dollars, got rid of all my belongings, and I cut off my entire network. I walked away from my seven figure business and I'm now going by the name Scott. I'll have 12 months to build a new business and go from zero to a million dollars. This is the million dollar comeback. You have to just put stuff out there. <laughs> Who are you filming? I'm filming you. It's starting to really hit me. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you. There's a lot more work to do. Hey everyone, I'm really excited because I'm starting today the Comeback Challenge. So this whole project is all about coming back and reinventing ourselves and I want to do this together. So at the end of every video, I'm going to be giving a call to action and give you steps to reinvent yourself and come back. It's going to be based off whatever happened the previous week so you can get back on your feet and go build the business you want to build or reinvent your life however you choose. Oh fuck, I got to re-explain this. Uh, Brock, put this kind of like in the beginning and then we'll go into this. Fuck, tomorrow I have to turn in my fucking keys. You like know where the first place that you're going tomorrow after you turn in those keys. You have no idea. Dude, I legitimately have not had time to think about this at all. Like legit, have not had any time. All I have, one pair of clothes, a cell phone with internet, and I have a backpack with camera gear. Time to turn in the keys, baby. All right, the keys are officially turned in. That means starting now, the project has started. I can't use any of my past connections. I can't use anything. This is official. Now I gotta figure out what the fuck to do. All right, so one of the first things I'm doing is signing up for a bunch of apps like Postmates. I hope they'll let me sign up without a car. Um, so maybe I can deliver food on like a bike. About to head downtown, try to find some water and uh, Let's do it. So I've been chilling under this tree. I've made a bunch of accounts for like Postmates, all this other stuff. Here's a post I made on Craigslist. Pretty much I say that I'm willing to work and do anything <laughs> if I can have a place to live. I'm willing to sleep on a floor, couch, doesn't matter. So we'll see if anyone gets back to me about that. I'm just right now just going on a lot of places, gonna make a bunch of calls, try to convince someone to let me live there for free um, in exchange for me doing stuff. So I'm just gonna start calling people. Recently kind of came on hard times um, and I'd love to find a place I could stay. So I'll work for you free free all day. I can cook, clean, do whatever it is that you want. If you have a floor or a couch, I can stay on. Hey, how's it going? I saw your room for rent on Craigslist. Um, I just wanted to call to see if it's still available. Okay. All right, thanks, appreciate it. Bye. <laughs> He's like, sorry, man, I can't help you out there. <laughs> uh, dude, I'm getting eaten alive right now. Can't deal with these bugs. Having a lot of issues with like logistical stuff, my Facebook profile and creating accounts because like it's not really me and they need to like I identify my background checks. I have to do that as Mike, so it's like pretty frustrating. Um, but I'm gonna go downtown now and see if we can get some money and maybe start flipping stuff. I'm actually gonna see if I can try to get some water. Hey, how are you? I was wondering, do you have any like water cups by any chance? 
Thank you so much. Just gave me this little <laughs> minzy ass Dixie cup. That's fine. I'm gonna try to panhandle and make a couple bucks. Um, it'll be interesting if I can get people to Venmo me. I'm not worried about food at all. I can go a couple days without eating, so I'm not worried about food. But I am worried about water. It's 100 degrees out today. It's very hot here in Austin. I'm gonna smell real bad real quick. Finally, someone nice enough to give me some freaking water. P. Terry's, nice lady. So we got our water, now I, got, <laughs> now I guess I got a panhandle. Let's do that. It's like no one downtown. Legitimately almost no one downtown. All right, I didn't think I was gonna have to do this, but I have to piss. I didn't think everything was gonna be freaking closed in Austin. So, uh, I'm gonna have to go find an alley. <laughs> the situation is there's no one downtown. Everything's pretty much closed. Like, I, I could try like flipping stuff, but I don't know. Things are not going well. I'm hoping there'd be a lot more people out and there isn't, so. Panhandling is a little bit more challenging. I'm gonna have to get real creative real quick. I did, <laughs> I did have someone message me on Craigslist that said they'll give me a, a hundred bucks if they let me, if they let, if I let them <laughs> So I got one of those messages. I don't think I'm that desperate yet, but <laughs> we're getting there. Hey, so quick update, it's 5 p.m. We're in downtown Austin. As you can see, there's no one down here. Do you wanna show them? Um, this is not going as planned. So man, it's getting really tough. Um, right now, my <laughs> I have I use a site called couchsurfing.co and uh, some nudist dude invited me to his nudist party. So that's like the only thing I've lined up. I haven't made any money today. <sighs> Today's not going well. This is not a good start. Hey, just an update. Um, made a poor decision and walked all the way um, from downtown Austin on 6th Street to, I think we're at like 18th Street, um, which took up a lot of energy. I, I realized halfway through it was probably a poor decision, but pretty exhausted, pretty tired. Um, I've been able to find some stuff for free on, on uh, Marketplace and Craigslist that I was gonna try to flip, but it was just so far and I wasn't able to get it, so. I'm just really hoping I can uh, figure something out because this, again, this is just, this is way more challenging than I had expected. All right, so it's 11 o'clock at night. It is a total ghost town. Today has been not a great day, didn't make any money. This is uh, my bench right here that uh, I'm gonna be sleeping on tonight, so should be a lot of fun. Something amazing happened. I've been using a site called couchsurfing.co and it's a place where people let you stay on their couch for free. Out of nowhere, at like 11 o'clock, this kid hit me up and said like, hey man, you can crash here. He's 10 miles east from where I'm at right now and I told him my situation and uh, he was so kind that he offered to pick me up and drive, thir excuse me, drive 30 minutes to uh, pick me up.
it's like uh, <clears throat> it's amazing that people like this exist so I'm just really emotional about how nice of an act this was and I'm not gonna lie today has been really tough I was not expecting it to be this challenging um, but uh, I sh he should be here any any minute now um, and he said I could crash for a couple of days so it'll give me time to just like get on my feet kind of get situated and stuff so I'll try to like video it um, he lives in an RV I'm not sure how that's gonna go but um, he seems like a really 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 genuinely nice person so sorry 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 just really grateful um, should begin there any any second so this is Isaac what's up Isaac howdy y'all Isaac just drove how far was it I don't know like 10 miles 10 yeah. miles to to grab me he even brought me food um, dude you are just so amazing man Oops. I cannot thank you enough um, this has been a really rough day so <laughs> well you got it man yeah today was crazy like I left today all I have is this oh you left today um, yeah yeah Shit. Um, so like I, I haven't actually thanks to you slept on the streets okay I have before, um, so I know it's not it's not a horrible <laughs> really? thing yeah um, I was trying to figure out where I was gonna do that um, it's, yeah. it's been a tough day I'm really sorry about that man I, I'm glad I could I'm glad I could help like I promise you I will repay you for all of this okay um, thank you I mean you don't have to but if you truly feel that you do um, I truly feel that I do I promise that I will repay you for all this so just thank you so much of course, of course, of course. all right so this is the RV that we're staying in that you can't see so this is the place yes dude this is fucking sick man really tiny, this is so yes. cool though is this your bed right here no that is your bed okay I, this is my bed so you can like cook everything on that stove right there yes in, in terms of like showering you said there's a shower i can show i can like walk you down with okay cool all right so here's the shower i only have one pair of clothes so i can't um i'm gonna have to put on the same gross clothes but it's still nice to uh, be able to shower hey so i just finished showering I had to put on the same clothes being homeless sucks. That's all I'm gonna say. It really sucks. I wish if I could go back, I would have done this this project differently and not started with nothing. Man, this was really eye-opening to some of the th challenges that people struggle with that uh, are homeless, which is not the goal of this project at all. So I kind of wish that we did things a little bit differently, but um, <laughs> when you have nowhere to go, absolutely nothing, um, it is really, really challenging to even like figure out how you're gonna find a job, how you're gonna make money. Um, I don't know how people do it. I would have been totally screwed if this individual didn't help me, so. <laughs> Very grateful. Um, finally gonna get some rest, so. Peace. Hey, so I hope you enjoyed that video. This is the comeback challenge. So for this week, as you saw, I really struggled. That first day was literally the hardest day of my entire life. And I think the, the real learning in that is anyone that is successful, that you know of, they got there with the help of others. So here are your action steps for this week. The first is don't be afraid to lean on other people. If you're struggling right now, there's people that want to help you. Reach out to your network, reach out to others, and also, if you're not struggling, offer a helping hand to people that are. The second action step, we're thinking about like, what business are we gonna build? How are we gonna reinvent ourselves? So what I want you to do at a high level is start thinking about those things. Some people will probably answer and say, I wanna make a million dollars, which is a terrible answer. <laughs> For some reason, that's what a lot of people answer that question with, but really you need to start thinking about like, what would make me really happy if I had $10 million in the bank right now, what would I do? What type of impact do I wanna make? What types of things do I wanna learn? What types of people do I wanna work with? The third thing I want you to do is I want you to evaluate your finances. The biggest expense most people have is rent. So if you can lower your rent and live in a dump, my rent's never been more than $1,000 a month up until this last year, because I've always shared rooms. On average, it's probably been like 500 a month. Like if you have to make money with like a side hustle, figure out what you're gonna do. You can flip stuff on Craigslist, you can take jobs on Handy, you can start on TaskRabbit, you can maybe freelance. 
figure out a way to make money if you need to so you can spend more time working on your business. So those are the three things that I want you to do this week. Now we have a group that is for this comeback challenge. It's the Million Dollar Comeback Facebook group. The link is below. Go click that link, join the group, by the way, and put your answers in that group. When you write things down, it helps you to actually execute it, especially if you put it in a Facebook group with a community of people that are gonna support you throughout this entire journey. Post everything that you're doing in there. I wanna hear these, the three steps that you're taking so you can come back, not just with me, but with the entire Million Dollar Comeback community. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.